Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Basic Builds. I'm Kalos here on the Orb MC server and in today's episode we have a couple of small builds to do, a medium sized one and then I have something to show you guys at the end of the episode. So let's get started. Okay everyone, the first thing I'm going to show you today is this little path design here. I oh, I know I've done roads before and I did this one that's over there. But that's more for a towny build where what I'm going to show you later will require different styles of roads. It won't really need to be that wide and some parts of it may even be thinner than this. Now this is a very simple kind of design. All I've done let's move this out of the way I don't want that there thank you all I've really done is just dug the hole I'm in vanish again I look okay so just dig a hole any size you want your path or road to be I think that's big enough and we'll do it pretty wide just for the hell of it and we're going to just randomly put some blocks in this is coarse dirt to stop grass from spreading onto it some andesite and some gravel and a couple of pieces of puzzle just to make the path up and of course the trusty button that looks like a pebble now this path here is nowhere near as intricate or designed as the path over there but it is going to be useful for the build later so hopefully that you will see a lot more of okay so that's this part done okay guys in this section we are going to be making lights i'm going to need these for what i have planned i've done a very simple light here and we're going to need our cobblestone stairs some never rack spruce fence a spruce log our button again the trapador and a flint and steel to light it it's very easy this you just want to get your spruce log and go by two go all the way around with our cobblestone stairs place the buttons like so go up twice with our spruce fence put the never rack on top surround that with our trap doors and then finally set it on fire and that is going to be lighting that we are going to have along these roads here so that is that for this part in this part of the build let me just clear my inventory we are going to need a half slab a spruce fence, a oak stairs, spruce log, a trap door and a chest and we are going to be making a simple cart design. This is a horse cart, that's where you can attach horses to the front of this and it will pull the cart along. Well, metaphorically speaking it can't actually pull the blocks. And what we will start with first is the wheels. So we'll go and place one block upside down like so and like so leave a two wide gap and again the upside down block is the one we need like that and like that and then you want to take your spruce wood and go along the back leaving a gap down there and placing your trap doors on there then you want to take your half slab and underneath on this one here you want to place a half slab, place that one there for now and break it and we'll have a half slab there. And then your full block that isn't in my palette, I'll grab that now. That's because I did two half slabs, that's why. Okay, a full block there. Your two fence at the bottom and at the front. A chest in here. And then the trap doors on the side here. Now that is it for these three very simple builds and I'm showing you for a specific reason because you're going to be seeing these a lot in my future videos hopefully I will clear my inventory and we're going to get started with this build now okay guys in this part of the build we are going to be making a stables it's going to be more of a roadside stable where there will be a shopkeeper in here who will rent out a stable to you and possibly the room upstairs that we have no access to but still. Um, let's get started with it shall we. The palette we have is a trapdoor, spruce log, a torch, spruce stairs, 
gravel, a half slab, a cobblestone slab, a cobblestone stair, cobblestone block, wool, glass pane, half slab spruce and some hay bale, a door and a button. And what we will start with, as always, will be the spruce wood and we'll grab our cobblestone as well. So let's just get rid of all this junk and get our cobble spruce wood, cobblestone and the stairs. Okay. Now, as you can, you can already see I have it built here, but I'm going to show you block for block how I did it and what we need to do. So we will start with one spruce log here and leave a free wide gap another one two three another one two three these will be where our stables are for the actual build now backwards two three four five there and then just bring these along as well with the three wide gap these need to go up four two three four two three four two three four four and here like so and then we want to take we want to attach this house to it too so we'll do one two three only three and then leave a five wide did I leave a yeah I left a five three four five two three place a stair on the top there now this is only temporary so we'll put that there like so and then one two three four and on this one one two three four and then i believe it's two out at the front it is yes okay on the front of this one two there and here two three two three place a stair there for now i believe that one stays there actually so one two three four one two three four very easy very simple and we can also connect all of this here whilst we're at it all the way along like so now the next block we will be using is cobblestone and that will only be for this part of the build now this is the front so we're going to have our doorway here and a small window here I may even do that yes and then all the way along the back wall there and there now in one block again all the way but solid and out this block all the way Ooh. Oh, not there there and there's our cobblestone for this part I believe that's all we need for that part and then we will want to grab our spruce half slab and hmm, we'll get the wool whilst we're at it and the glass okay glass there now our half slab I believe goes there here all the way along the top and our wool will go all the way around as well not there now the front is the only part in this build that has any windows so remember that we pull it up here leaving a gap for the windows then two three four up. all the way around Now, we don't need access to this part of the build, but I'm going to put some half slabs here just so the floor is not completely visible from outside and it does look like a, a room rather than in a box. Yep, that's that for this part of it so far. Now, here we will need our spruce wood planks. Fill in the entire back of these all the way, but not there. Like so. Yep. 
and then I believe on the side I left a gap. I did, yes. So on the side, take it up on both sides and one layer across, and then one in the middle. And then we need to leave space here for our doors for the horses to come in. And then what we've done there, we're going to take along on these logs. So there and here. Like so. We also need to get our log again and just on the front where these doorways are, we're going to place them like that. Grab ourselves our trap door and our oak fence. And bring the oak fence up on all three of these. Like that. On the top of these, where these well, the wood's been pulled out, we want to do stairs, and then on the reverse, do it in the same position where the stairs are there, like so. Very simple. Okay, now our trap doors we want to attach to this log here, so when they are shut, they are shut there, just to make the top of the door look a bit more fancy. Yep, take our oak fence, oh my mouse went a bit crazy there, and all the way along the top where the stairs are not, just cover the top of this with the fence. And grab your slab. I did say, and I have said a few times, and I probably always will, I am not the best with roofs but needs must and then up one Now for the inside of these stables we are going to need, let me just go in my inventory, we are going to need our gravel, our hay bale, I don't know why there's a dirt there, that shouldn't be, hmm. let's just fix that, okay, we don't need the grass, and a shovel, let's grab that one, any shovel is a shovel, yeah, there we are, now, first we will, oh, bit of lag there, sorry about that, dig a doorway I think, just like that, and this one's going to be like that, just for the door, now take your shovel and just randomly pick a block that you'd like to have as a path block, it doesn't have to be any, if you don't want any, it can be all of it if you want all of it, it just helps the design and then take out some more of the grass try and have it so your hay bales are facing the same way it may look a lot better with that style okay this one here and there and there same in here and then we just want to replace the rest of this grass with gravel ready that it looks like the inside of a stable or a barn or anywhere where you keep your horses not in your bedroom okay we'll go grab ourselves a spruce door and throw them up that is the stable part of this build almost finished I forgot one part you can go along these beams and stack up some hay bales just to look like extra bedding has been placed in here ready to replace whatever is diminished. You can even add a couple here if you feel like it, just, just to make it look a bit more homely. There we go. Like so. Okay, now I will need my stone half slab for the door. I like to create a 
like I said in my house tutorial, I like to have it where the outside and inside is always separated by a block. It just feels better for me. Now the flooring in here, if I remember how I did it, was very simple. I just got my spruce log and I went all the way along there and then across all the way along across all the way along yeah it was very simple now this beam here as you can see just on the corner of this spruce there I will need to go grab some more of my pieces from my pallet I'll have that piece and that piece for now and maybe the trapdoor okay and we want to take this across here like so place that there just temporarily so we can put that down place the trap door here and that is how we're going to separate the front to the back of the shop I'm going to place a little bench here with a sign on it you grab a sign now there we go and we also need some chests don't we so we'll grab our chests and we'll just throw a couple of, a couple of chests in here ready for it now we will also need a torch let's get this lit up it's a bit dark we'll throw some torches there 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 and there okay yes I have not done the roof just yet we will get the outside done first so we're gonna grab our button we have to grab our torch I just got rid of okay throw some torches on the front of these and do our basic design that we use quite often and pretty much everywhere go around with our trapdoors on the supporting beams like so and here and there and then our buttons as well and it's going to be at this height It's always best when you're designing a town or a build like this to pick a theme or a design that you like and follow through with it in all your designs to so just tie the builds in together really it makes them stand out a lot better when they have a theme if you just have a pink house in one corner and then the other house you have a dirt house or something like that. it just it doesn't fit well it needs to have some form of order in the chaos okay now we can start with this roof here now I know I said let's go at four but that's so that we didn't miscount for our roof so our roof is one one two one one two so on the top one one two and one and the same on the back one one two one one two one, one, two, and five. I miscounted. See, that's it. Two. There we go. That's better. That looks a lot better. Okay. Let's grab our solid spruce wood, and on the two high, take it across, like I've shown you before, and across here, and here as well. get our stairs and come down here with them oh not there, there and along here and along here just along the top and then we're going to do the same on this side oh not there like so and then we're going to need our cobblestone counterparts so we'll grab these these and this so along the top from one log to another we need half slabs and then follow this pattern to begin with with the stairs and the cobblestone just like so so like this 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 and this and the same here And 
and then you want to go underneath on this side first having a stair facing that way and then inwards on these on these corners here inwards on these corners and out there on the front you want to take this top block here add one upside down and one right side up so upside down right side up on the inside and on the outside getting stuck on some fence there there we go and then you just want to bring this all the way along try and keep it upside down like I am just to finish this part of the roof off don't worry about this hole we will fix this in a second like right now okay so where the wall ends we will take a beam of spruce wood slabs across and then just fill this in here and here and then at the back we will fill every block the top and these three get the top here we'll do this side here There we go, and that is that for our roof. Let me just grab our spruce stairs, place two there so they look like they are supporting that beam. Okay, I think that is as done for the majority of this. There is one small part that we haven't done that we can right now, and that is grab a shovel. And at the entrance ways to all of these, it doesn't matter how you do it, but if we just do a dirt path like so. Just to make it look more trodden because you're going to have a lot of fall footfall through here with all the horses that come through and then in here as well just to make it look like it's been busy and it's been trodden in by all of the people and horses that go through this place so that is a copy of this at the back i hope you followed that relatively easy if there was any parts you couldn't find that I did too quick or something like that let me know and I'll go through again and show you I'll do an update video for it that's fine by me that is it for the build part of this now I'm going to show you what I've been doing okay guys I apologize if this is a little bit laggy and the frame rate drops a bit I've put my render distance all the way up to 32 just to show you this piece of land here I've done quite a few builds now, four basic builds, and it is filling up that small plot that I had. So I had the bright idea, yes I know, of creating a 3x3 three three plot wide piece of land, really. I'm still on doing some of the elevation and handcrafting some of the rest of this. The water will need fixing, it's kind of a bit buggy. But this is where we're going to transfer all of our builds that we've done now already in basic builds and we're going to be putting it into this somewhere we are going to make a town a village or a little we could make quite a few things here I've already have ideas for future builds and hopefully in future videos starting with hopefully the next one we are going to be building straight onto this piece of land because we are going to need things like bridges and a dock uh, fishing huts, we're going to need loggers camps and a mine we may need a mine over in these mountains somewhere so yes there are plenty of ideas and plenty of things that are going to be popping up here I will start with bringing over some of the things like our wall and those path designs and the torches and the lights I showed you today those are going to be some of the things that are going to be here in the next hopefully in the next episode if not the one after so yeah Okay guys, I've been Kalos, I'm here on the AllBMC server, I will leave a link down in the description, hopefully I will have a warp set up for this build as well, so you'll be able to do slash warp to get here, it'll be warp space BB for basic builds to get here, and yeah, I shall see you in the next episode, take care, bye.